dreamed for years, the mysterious Iceland. The landscapes, the extreme opposites, the ice and the fire, the wildness. I've spent days reading about it until I've started dreaming. And just like a dream, it suddenly appears through the clouds. From the plane, it looks like a big black stone. Here we are, and from here, everything begins. Lundmanelagar is a magic place. Here the mountain colors change from brown to yellow, orange and violet. The water streams are hot. They smell of sulfur and suddenly appears from the rocks. Or from sulfuric blue pools. It's no coincidence that Lundmanelagar in Icelandic language means the people's pool. Places are two waterfalls about 60 meters high. This waterfall was once the coastline that has moved five kilometers inside the land due to geological activity. This is Ring Road and is the most important way of communication in Iceland in addition to air traffic. It follows the Iceland perimeter and links the most important towns. Sembra di stare al polo, invece siamo a Jakulsarnor, nella parte sudorientale dell'Islanda. Quello che vedete alle mie spalle è un lago di iceberg che si origina da quel ghiacciaio, uno dei ghiacciai della carotta del Vatna Jokul. Questo lago di iceberg fino all'inizio del 1900 non esisteva, era semplicemente la continuazione del ghiacciaio. Negli ultimi 100 anni, a causa del riscaldamento globale e particolare qui in Islanda, la parte finale del ghiacciaio si è sciolta e ha dato origine a questo lago di iceberg. Gli iceberg che vedete qui sembrano fermi, in realtà sono in lento movimento verso l'oceano. Gilster there is the last beacon of civilization before the desert. We buy some food, fill up the car and the tank, and finally we are ready for the hardest part of the journey.
Askia is an active volcano currently covered by a lake. Its last eruption occurred in 1961, but the most important one in modern age had happened in 1875. In that year, Askia released two cubic kilometers of volcanic ash. In addition to the main crater, a small one was formed, and now is covered by a hot and sulfurous pool, where it's possible even to swim. After the amazing De Timos, waterfall and the Asbergi Canyon, we arrived to Husavik. This little town is most famous because from here it's possible to do whale watching tours and spot different species that frequently enter the bay. Frequently, but apparently not today. According to an ancient Icelandic legend, no mascar is the devil's kitchen and in fact, due to many boiling mud pools, fumaroles and vivid colors like orange, red and yellow, it may be true.
After a long moving from the north to the southwest of the island, we find the Thinkmetry National Park in Geysa. This park is famous because there is a deep crack where the American and the European tectonic plates move away from each other, and also because the Vikings founded here what is known to be the first parliament in the world. Finally, Reykjavik, the last stop of the trip. This is the biggest city in Iceland and the economic, cultural and political heart of this country. After 15 days in the middle of the wild nature, it's so strange to see a real city with modern buildings, many people, shops, intersections and an amazing nightlife. It was worth it.